Hey guys, today I decided to tell you about major updates in mobile field application Leica Cycle Field 360. Leica Field 360 is a mobile device application which the main purpose was to control the scanner, pre-register scans and adding some additional information as geotext to your project. But in the past 4 years it gets a lot of improvements, so I decided to tell you about all the main features that were added. As you could imagine there were many updates and some of them bring just stability improvement. So if we will begin to review all of them it could take too much time, so I decided to split them into 4 categories. Stability improvements and bug fixing, new device support, visibility enhancement and new features. So let's skip all bug fixing and stability improvements and move to the next section with supported devices. At the start the Field 360 supported only RTC360, later there was added also BLK360 G1 and ScanStation PX6 support. Now it's also possible to operate the new generation of BLK360. The application could run on tablets and phones with iOS and Android operating systems. It's also possible to run the application on the BLK 3D measurement solution because it has the Android operating system. All scanners got almost the same functionality in the Field 360 but depending on the scanner model the functionality could be slightly changed. For example BLK 360 G1 has an infrared camera so you could be able to see in the Field 360 infrared panoramic image. BLK 360 New generation and RTC360 have this system, so you could see the movement of scanner in the environment life. Next big area of improvements is visibility enhancements. Engineers did great work by implementing new features, they got a nice balance between functionality and simplicity, which was one of the reasons why the Field 360 got a award for the best user experience from the International Forum Design. They were added. Show scanner life position helps you to determine where you are now and where you should play the new setup. Appearance on the map view only the last 3, 5 or 7 setups, it's very convenient when you're scanning different levels or stairs for example. Show neighboring setups at a configurable distance in 360 view for smooth navigation. When you have a lot of stations it's highly useful. Optional silhouette view to high ceilings and floors for better visibility, works in 3D and the map views. Different modes of the color point cloud in the 3D and panoramic views. And split screen mode that allows you to work on different applications at the same time. Using this mod you could open a 2D plan in one side of the window and keep the Field 360 application in another side of the window and mark scanned areas. A lot of improvements were done to the registration functionality. A very nice feature is to combine the last scanner position with the previous one automatically by clicking the quick link button. Generally you are doing one setup after another in subsequence, so this small tool highly speeds up the entire process. You don't need to open the cloud to cloud window it just scans, makes optimized. All that you need to do is just click the one button. Also, you could enable the pre-aligned scans to faster the whole process of registering the data. The new default behavior in linking is to initially select the oldest setup as a reference independent of the selection order. One small useful feature is to add a template name for setup that you could use when working on a big project in a different jobs. Measurement improvements got these features. Support multiple units of measurements. Display horizontal distance and high difference for measurements. Very useful mode when you need to determine elevation between two points. Edit area measurements. You could draw any shape to measure its area. Possibility to make measurements in the 3D view. In this mode you could make more precise measurements because you see on which exactly point you are snapping on. The next big area of improvements is geotext. Tagging is a great feature that is used in different kinds of applications. You could attach detailed image, video, audio, document or web link to a specified point in the cloud. And this information will be shared with everyone who is involved in the project. Geotags are even used for automatic classification and point view software. It's a perfect tool for asset management and there were few updates that are very important. Support of the BLK 3D allows you to take a stereo image with this device and then make additional measurements right on your photo. It could be used with your laser scanner or standalone for smaller jobs to capture important and intricate details. Black and white target support is one of my favorite features. I use it every time. It gives you the ability to set location which will be used later for target extraction by register C60. You could add the name of your target and choose an appropriate
approximate place of its location on the panoramic image. After importing your project to register 360, all targets will be placed and named automatically. And if you have a huge number of targets, you could upload TXT file with their names and coordinates. It gives you two abilities. First, you'll be able to select the target from the name list and don't spend time typing it by yourself. And second, you could skip the step with importing these targets to register 60 as a contract points. They will appear there automatically. The next improvement in geotext section is the recognition of QR codes. You should choose the text type of tag and you will see a small icon of the QR code. Click on it and put your camera on the QR code. Text from it will be extracted automatically and placed in the notes field. One of the latest updates is the support of the Apple LiDAR sensor. It helps to reduce the number of scans setups by capturing hidden details in narrow areas where it might be difficult to set up a LiDAR scanner. Also, you could make scans just with your your phone or tablet, register them directly in Filter 60 and use them as standard point cloud from the scanner in your daily applications. Quick Plan is an optional purchased add-on that can be accessed with the Leica Cyclone Filter 360 mobile device application to enhance exciting and filter D reality capture workflow. It allows users to create rooms by swiping along walls within the captured data to provide immediate result from the field. Users can define doors and windows, export a 3D model and share it with project collaborators at the office, all from the tablet or smartphone. You could run and test the quick field functionality even without a license. For that, you need to select bundle or setup, click uh, the room plan icon at the top right corner of the screen, and you will see the red arrow in the middle of your screen. Drag it from left to right side and the application will be switched to the quick plan mode. In that mode, you will be able to create walls with specified thickness and height. They will be fitted to the point cloud. After creating the walls, you could go to 360 views and dead doors, windows or technical holes. After the model will be finished, you could export it in IFC or DXF formats. One of the latest features that were added in the field 360 is cleaning point cloud with the rectangular fence. At the moment, it works only in the 3D mode for one set View. To activate it, go to 3D view, select the cleaning icon and you will see rectangular fence on the screen. Adjust your camera position in front of unwanted points and then click on the fence corner point to adjust its side. Or click to the center of fence to enable rotation mode. When your fence will be defined, click the done button and choose what you want to delete, points inside fence or outside fence. This feature is highly useful in an office environment with a lot of glass walls. But there is one more way how to use this tool. For example, you need to scan the site with medium or low resolution. And some objects should be scanned with a high density, but you don't want to store the full scan because it has a bigger size. In that case, you could make one scan with typical settings and one more with the highest. Then just select the needed area on the high density scan and delete all outside. That will give you the detailed scan of the required area. And the last section of improvements support additional export formats. At the moment, it includes TrueView Cloud, E57, PTX, HXDR. And with the Quick Plan plugin, you'll be able to export also DXF and IFC formats. Additional formats expand your workflow capabilities, so you could export data in the field directly from your phone to Office or share it with the customer via cloud platforms and skip steps with downloading, importing, and registering the data on your desktop computer. So let's see how to export data to E57 from the tablet and then brings it directly to the Cyclone 3D. Go to Bundles or Setups list of your project and the field 360, click three dots icon and choose the Export to E57 button. After the export will be done, you could send it immediately to the cloud storage or just save it on the in the file folder on your tablet. Connect the tablet to the computer and open iTunes. If you work with Apple iPads, uh, click on the icon of your phone and select the file sharing menu. Choose your folder with the E57 data and click the Save button. After downloading will be completed, just bring the data directly to the Cyclone 3 gi and you will see the clean registered point cloud with panoramic images. Full list of improvements you could find on the downloading page from the iStore or Google application markets. I hope you will like this video. If I forgot to tell about some important features, just leave it in the comment. And also, I would like to hear from you about your favorite feature in Leica Cyclone Field 360.